Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing episode number 29 of I Build Your Teams, the series where I build my viewers' teams into the best teams possible for my team unlimited and or competitive play based on how much MT they have and what their squad is currently looking like. Before we hop into the video today, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 11,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. First tip today comes in from Justin. He has a very, very solid team, no doubt about it whatsoever. Uh, I would say my main recommendations, honestly, would be number one, I'd probably upgrade Scotty Pippen to Jonathan Bender. I just think having a seven foot small forward is going to be an upgrade there that you're going to appreciate more SIGs as well. Another thing I would definitely do is I'd pick up Peter Goodmanson, or however you pronounce his name. I'm going to butcher it, but you should pick up Peter, um, play him. You could play him with a backup five to give you more sides off the bench with KG and Peter, and then have Taco and Dino come in starting. Or you could just play Taco and Peter together, in which case you'll have less sides off your bench between Dino and KG, which is an option, although your starters would be a little bit better but i would definitely pick up those two players bender and peter i think those are the two main guys that can really help upgrade your team i don't love shangun i would consider maybe swapping him out as well considering you do have the mt to make an upgrade to a devin booker or even like a jimmy butler or somebody like that if you wanted to uh, or even grind for a guy like i don't know how much unlimited blue play or how close you might be to sean livingston but he's a great option as well even a rudy fernandez i kind of like all those guys over shangun personally that's just my opinion though i'm just not the biggest fan of shangun that's just me um, but yeah, that's that's about what I would recommend for this squad. Second team today comes in from Freddy. He's got he says he's 29 and 16 unlimited. He's got 26k. Can't find cheap bigs to replace Kessler. So uh, you only have 35 tokens, but I will say this: tokens would help you out here. If you could get yourself some tokens, number one, you could sell Scotty Pippen. You could finish however many pieces of Glenn Rice you're missing. Uh, you could get those with tokens. So then you could have Glenn Rice as your backup too, which would save you some MT and would actually be a better shooting guard than Scotty Pippen. So that might be the first thing I would do is try grind some tokens and just get yourself to where you can get glenn rice uh, so you can sell, Scott, sell scotty pippen and make the mt off of him once you scale, sell scotty pippen you'll have the amount of mt that you need to get peter goodmanson so then you could add peter as a starting center your bet lineup will then be much better between having Glenn Rice and Peter, I think those two players right there, just by themselves, will make this team much, much better. Um, so that's kind of what I'd be trying to do, is make sure you get the tokens to where you can grind, uh, or sorry, to where you can get Glenn Rice, so then you can sell Scotty and use that MT to get Peter, and at that point, your team is going to be, honestly, looking pretty damn nice. Uh, next thing today comes in from MK. He's got 400,000 MT, and he's got himself a heck of a team. Um, he's got Ben and Walton, which I like. Kawhi, I don't love at the shooting guard position. This is a player I would probably recommend selling, uh, and you could pick up an auctionable alternative. I think the best auctionable alternative who's reasonably priced, who's not obscenely expensive, is going to be um, Ricky Davis. I think Ricky Davis is better than Kawhi. I would just, that's going to save you a lot of MT, and that's an upgrade I would make, is just swapping out Kawhi for Ricky Davis. Um, Kuzma and Bender at the threes is cool. I would get an AK and pick between who you like more between Kuzma and Bender and play them as your backup three and play AK at the starting three. Hakeem, Dikembe, E, and Mark Eaton. I would definitely definitely pick up Peter again he's I'm, I'm gonna recommend him for literally every team that doesn't have him today and that's because he's so incredible for his price uh, you could start him at the five you could have Dikembe at the four and then you could have Ian Hakeem off the bench you could have Hakeem and Mark Eaton off the bench however you want to do it you can then do that uh, but that's what I would do is definitely pick up AK I'd go Ricky Davis and then I pick up Peter and those three players will help add it to your team for sure next squad today comes in from 1003 he's got uh, 81,000 MT another team where the main upgrade that I'm seeing is <laughs> I hate to be repetitive, but I think Peter, again, he's so much better than Mark Eaton. You have the MT. Sell Mark Eaton, pick up Peter. You're going to be good. That's going to make your team much, much better. Um, at, at that point, I would say, if you could look to find an upgrade for Sam Decker as well, like if you can save some MT to get Andre Karolinko, that would be big. You could sell Scotty Barnes for a guy like Luke Walton, who's much cheaper and almost pretty much close to his good. Uh, and then you could pick up um, Andre Karolinko. So maybe you'd have a lineup that's something like Rudy Fernandez, Ricky Davis, Andre Karolinko, Mo Bamba, Peter. And then off the bench, you have something like uh, Luke Walton, Glenn Rice, Kyle Kuzma, Dino, and Sagana job like that roster right there i like a lot more than the team that you're running right now i think that would help you out for sure this squad comes in from i'm taco made he's got two million mt how do you taco made you don't even have the card two million mt is a lot of mt though he's got sean livingston rudy fernandez which is super solid uh billy knight and steve smith i will say this just start steve smith and buy andre kirilenko just do that and then you can have billy knight and bantam the duo off the bench but you're going to be glad you have steve and ak starting so you'll have sean steve ak and then off the bench you'll have rudy fernandez billy knight mike bantam your fours and your fives definitely cool with keeping kg pick up taco though and pick up peter you can start uh kg yao or you could go taco peter either one i would 
start, I would play Taco and Peter together, and I would play KG and Yao together. It kind of is up to you which two you start and which two you bring off the bench. But those are the main upgrades I'd recommend for you are Andre Karolinko, so then you start Steve, you start AK, and then you pick up Taco and Peter Goodmanson. And once you've picked up those three guys, you really don't need to buy anybody else for this team right now. Second to last squad today comes here from 2K King. He's got 300,000 MT, a uh, really solid team as well. Wondering about his bigs, though. I like his point guards. I don't mind his shooting guards, although I would swap out Scotty Pippen for Ricky Davis. That's just me. First upgrade there. AK and Purvis is great. Taco, I don't love Bob Nettelicke. I do like Dino. I'm still running Dino on my team. And then Chet Holmgren, I'm not a huge fan of either. So again, you need two bigs. Well, you don't really need two bigs. You need one big for sure. Peter Gumminson is definitely, again, I keep recommending him. And I'm just going to keep recommending him for every single team. And I know I'm repeating myself, but he's so good and so such a good value player. He's the value center we've been waiting on for weeks. And then you could pick up a guy like Mobamba. You could pick up a guy like Sagana Jop. Uh, it's kind of up to you at that point what you want to pick up for your other spot. But I would probably run taco and dino together and then off the bench i personally would probably go sagana jop and peter sagana at the four peter at the five that's probably the main adjustment i would make besides picking up ricky davis at the two you buy those three players i think your team is looking very good and then last squad today comes in from cheese he's got 250,000 mt says he's trying to fill all these empty spots on his team he's got ben glenn Evan Mobley. Uh, okay, so let's just go some some cheap guys, or some not. I wouldn't say super cheap. Well, let's see if we can just build you just build you a team real quickly. I'm gonna pull up 2KDB for this one as well, just to help build you a lineup. Point guard. Let's start off cheap, easy, good out card in Rudy Fernandez. Not quite as cheap at the two, but that's fine. Ricky Davis. I don't think we quite have the MT for an Andre Kirilenko in this lineup, so we'll go with Jonathan Bender there, and then off the bench you could go Kyle Kuzma or Jonathan Isaac. Either one. I'm gonna throw John Isaac in there. Uh, your fours, you don't have, a, you, if you want to run Evan Mobley, he's actually not bad. His release isn't that good, but I'm cool with you throwing him in there. And if you want, you could even do something like that. Uh, you go Dino Raja maybe here. And then at the five, we go Peter, uh, and then backup five, Sagana Jop. Backup one was Ben and backup two was Glenn Rice. Something like this. I like this team. I think this is about the 10 man that I'd look to run if I were you with something like this. Maybe you even go with something along these lines instead, uh, or even something like, actually, this is what I would do personally. This is the lineup that I would run. If you could build this 10 man lineup right here, sell Evan Mobley, that is about the perfect team. Oh, Evan Mobley's on auction. Okay, you can keep running Evan Mobley if you, if you want to keep running him, but something along these lines I think is the perfect type of team that you can build. Might be a little bit out of your price range, just a little bit, because Ricky, AK, and Peter together are going to be kind of expensive, but the rest of the cards are pretty cheap. Uh, you can substitute another budget guy here or there if you need to, but something along these lines will definitely help your team out. And then again, if you just got to do something like this and keep using Mobley because he is on auction, he's not a bad card, you could do that as well. So hopefully this video does help you out though and uh yeah that is the last team for today's episode so hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace